Uh, okay, so here we go. Demon Souls got a 1080-60. Damn it, I wish it was at 4K. Um, 1080-60 state of play for the PlayStation 5. If I love it and it's great, I'm gonna play the song after. Confirmed. Hello, I'm Gavin Moore, creative director for Demon Souls. This is a remake of monumental scope and ambition, transforming a beloved PlayStation classic into a stunning showcase for the PlayStation yes. 5. In every respect, Demon's Souls looks, sounds, and feels right at home in this next generation of gaming. Oh my god, they're gonna go over character customization. Holy We're shit! We're all massive fans of the original game, and we wanted to bring everything we possibly could up oh to the level god. that modern gamers expect. And that includes the power and variety at your control in the character. This creator, is from facial ridiculous, customization dude. to hair types. There are many thousands more permutations for you to explore, empowering you to make an avatar you can relate to. This whoever is whoever that might be. This is ridiculous. This is not a remake. This is much more. Demon Souls is anchored by a hub. The Nexus. The Nexus is how you'll get to the game's five archstones, each of which leads to a different land in Boletaria. There are also many NPCs here who are a key part of the storytelling experience. We were lucky enough to bring back many of the original cast to take on their iconic roles. Now let's enter the first Archstone, the Archstone of the Small King, and start are our they really journey recast? at the Did they really recast the actors again? Huh. Well, that was pretty fucking quick. Holy shit. This is a good area. This bridge this is a good bridge to show the game off. Oh, the dudes. Cool. Now, the real demon souls begins. Attacking, blocking, and dodging all use stamina, so the player must always consider where they are, what they're facing, and what their foes are capable of. It's demon now, souls. These jigglings aren't particularly daunting. It certainly their is. Their are relatively simple, and their attack ability somewhat limited. Still. Even these earliest enemies can pose a threat if the player loses focus. For those who play it's gonna be Demon so nice Souls getting Demon Souls 3, compilations of people firing up their PS5 exactly and getting fucked you up. That you can play at 60 frames a second in performance mode, and animations have been completely redone. Combat timing is just as it was. We're actually using original code for these core gameplay pillars, the untouched essence of the game around which everything else has been beautifully remade. It's a modern engine driving this white knuckle combat experience where the slightest error could mean your death. God, I wish the game... It, 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 I, I wish it was in like 4K, man, because there's so much more detail. This is mostly like a gameplay demonstration. The UI is super simplified, right? That uh, that wall We're recoil. In performance mode, which targets 60 frames a second, running at a beautiful dynamic 4K. There's also a cinematic option that's an even more vivid native 4K, targeting 30 frames a second. Whether your preference is fluidity and responsiveness, or simply the most detailed Damn, that possible roll. experience, the game is a feast for the senses on PlayStation 5. This is so cool. Munch on that grass. Oh god.
Yeah, well, I mean, the We've fact added that you get like the option is good, you know. New sound effects to take advantage of the PlayStation 5's impressive Tempest 3D audio. Now you can hear Imperial spies in the Palace of Bolotaria creeping up behind you. Or a creature slithering out of the slime in the Valley of Defiance. It's really up in those world. corners, though. Now you can experience this stunning world in 3D audio just by connecting a headset. Yeah, the bitrate kind of went to shit right there, You're right? That's really the problem with 1080p video. Sense wireless controllers haptic feedback. Wait, this is 4K on the PlayStation Europe, Europe channel? So this is the Wait, really? This is about to get a lot better looking. Of your hand before you cast this is about to get a lot better looking. We've left the open air of Boletaria and descended into the lair of the Flame Lurker, deep within Stonefang Mines. Flame Lurker is one of the most beloved of all of the Demon Souls bosses, and here he's brought to life in amazing detail. The real-time lighting and incredible particle effects, as well as a deadly redesigned arena, all culminate in a spectacular battle set in a world of fire. And the music here as you battle Flame Lurker is one of many incredible tracks created for Demon Souls. On PlayStation 5, we've rearranged and fully reorchestrated Shinsuke Kida's breathtaking score with 120 world-class musicians performing wow. at the legendary Air Studios in London. Fire effects on this guy are pretty crazy looking. The Tower of Latria. Holy shit, the Tower of Latria. Of the third archstone. It's truly one of the most unforgettable areas in Demon Souls. It's so haunting and claustrophobic. It's rife with detail and countless nooks and crannies. On PlayStation 5, we've radically increased the object density. The stage is absolutely littered with rubble, broken vases, and Man, abandoned this looks potter. ridiculous, dude. Holy it's shit. It's an amazing set piece for enemy encounters. These mine flares, for example, cast glowing projectiles down long corridors. For all of the added or enhanced effects like these, we've endeavored to strike a balance. This guy's like, don't kill me, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Echoing the tragic fall of the once glorious, but now doomed kingdom of Boletaria. Man, all the lighting is just on another level. I like the uh, little kneel down Moving animation. On to the rain soaked shrine of storms. Each class in Demon Souls has a radically oh, shit. different feel. Sick. Knights in their armor are She tough, actually has a unique dagger a animation. The thief, on the other hand, is quick and sure of foot, but requires finesse to inflict a killing blow. Oh god. Definitely as demon souls when you walk behind a bitch and get the insta-kill. This was back before they, they, they tried to figure the out, okay, so players just walk behind us and stab us in the ass. Attacks. Of course, we made sure to match the timing and feel of the original attacks. It's a small change, but it helps make each weapon choice feel a little bit more unique. And New animations for weapons. a perfect backstab all the more satisfying. Unique backstabs, pretty fucking super cool. Anyone who played Demon Souls on PlayStation 3 knows that the Valley of Defilement is one of the most challenging, demanding levels in the game. We're so excited for those because of performance to issues. This gloomy, arresting swamp. Now with performance mode at a targeted 60 frames per second, this area was a particular challenge because we wanted to preserve the occasionally disorientating, 
almost maze-like nature of the stage while building on the mythos of Boletaria. After all, this is a place of outcasts and the unwanted. We wanted the valley to feel much more alive with the PlayStation 5 remake, and it gave us a rare chance Remember to revisit this weird -ass a truly zone. iconic level in gaming history. Jesus. You could not see this far on PS3. You could not. Shit was severely tampered because of the hardware. And before we wrap up, here's a first look at the Dirty Colossus, a nightmarish mishmash of detritus that's been discarded from above. Your best cool. bet for success here is to keep your distance and time your attacks carefully and use a weapon that can burn through this toxic monstrosity. God, the animations are so friggin' clean. Holy hell. The poop golem! <laughs> Whoa. And Souls bosses really have changed over the years. You've just gotten a taste of what's awaiting you this November. Demon's Souls is one of the most celebrated gems in PlayStation history. It defined a new genre of action RPGs, focused on tactical combat, environmental storytelling, wow, groundbreaking man. synchronous and asynchronous multiplayer elements, and an emphasis on trusting the player to learn, master, and ultimately to triumph. SIE Worldwide Studios and Blue Jeez, Games just absolutely are to be able to remake this classic for those absolutely incredible looking, you know. A whole new generation of gamers to just it looks so Thank good. And we're looking at it at like a severely compromised sort of like SIE. YouTube video, you know? We are looking at from the the scape of only a fraction of what the game is actually going to look like. I can't wait to run it at 60. I can't wait to see it in HDR. All this shit, man. God, dude. So cool. What what is what is my summary of Demon Souls? This looks great! This looks great! I mean, the design doesn't look great. There's some rough looking shading going on here, but I mean. Whoa, Betsy, what is this? I love it. It's great.